Nanji Daka sells tomatoes at this market in Jos, not central Nigeria. She's been in the business for about five years and says the scarcity this year is like never before. Supply from farmers has been poor because the yield is bad. So it's expensive and we the traders are also in business to make profits. Many people can't afford tomatoes now. Those who can, especially restaurant operators, are also factoring it in their costs for meals. Tomato is an important ingredient for cooking in Nigeria. According to consulting firm PricewaterCoopers, the country is the largest producer of the fruit in sub-Saharan Africa, producing about 2.3 million tons annually. But this year's attack on the fruit has affected the output, with prices soaring by more than 100%. Twitter happens to be a moth, which uh, basically started off mostly in Southern America uh, and somehow found its way to Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, Nigeria, Zimbabwe. This particular moth, what it does is it feeds on virtually everything that has to do with the tomato plant, from the fruits, the stems, everything. So it lays eggs on these plants and it basically just feeds off these plants to multiply. This year's attack on tomato farms is not the first time it's happened in Nigeria. Last year, about $4 million worth of tomato plantations were destroyed due to the tuta absoluta infestation. Agriculture experts want the government to find a lasting solution to the problem, which they say has led to Nigeria importing tomatoes to help its food needs. We can control it using pesticides, using those traps, you know, as a mechanism to control their effects would go a long way. Until Cameroon opened its borders to allow tomatoes to come to Nigeria, um, this crisis that we see wouldn't have been a bit uh, reduced. So right now we're having major imports coming in from Cameroon. We get imports from, uh, from Benin Republic and other, other neighboring countries. Nigeria's Agriculture and Food Security Minister Abubakar Kari says authorities are taking immediate action to combat the problem through the deployment of agricultural experts to affected farms to contain and eliminate the infestation through disinfection. The government says it is also working out a plan to support farmers with resources and guidance to recovery. It made a similar promise last year, and experts want the problem tackled properly this year to prevent the situation from becoming permanent.